I am I am voting again to try to break the glass ceiling and elect a, a woman as president of the U.S. Are there any particular issues that are troubling you for this election? You know, to be honest with you, um, I didn't hear much about term limits, and I really think that, um, that a conversation needs to be had about term limits. Um, uh, and I, we'll see how that goes. I think it's important to think about both how the results are going to impact each of us individually, but also think about how they're going to impact our neighbors and our community. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think that is important. You know, we very much are a, a self-focused society, and I recognize very much that if you're struggling to get by and you think one person's going to make a difference on that economic reality, that's pretty obvious how you're going to vote. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I hope that we can continue to build an economy where people aren't struggling to get by. That gives more opportunity to think the other. Are reproductive rights the main issue that you're focusing when you cast your vote? Um, I'd say it's one of the issues. I think it's all-encompassing. I think reproductive rights is an economic issue. It is a democratic issue based on your choice and your freedom. Um, but yeah, seeing what's happening and just their reports not in Vermont, fortunately, but you know that might not happen if it goes one way. But there are women dying in this country because they can't get the health care they need. So that's like what's a big motivator. I've traveled all over Vermont. I've met about 80,000 Vermonters. Uh, we have a fentanyl crisis. We have a crime crisis. It's unaffordable. Things need to change for a better future for Vermont. And they're not going to change, uh, particularly, you know, progressive left here in the, uh, at state, and I call it the same at the federal level, overrode 12 of the governor's vetoes. Uh, so we need to balance in there, but I'm happy you're voting here, the people that show up, all your friends, shame them into, you know, getting out here and, and voting. It's part of being a citizen. I'm a representative for this district, and I like to stand at the polls every year to say hello to voters. Uh, oftentimes they may have questions about uh, some issues on the ballot. That doesn't seem to be the case this year because everybody is bringing their ballot already uh, filled out, it seems, but still it's nice to talk to people about what's on their mind. To the state level, I just think there's so many issues in the next two years that are going to be really important in Vermont that it's really important that people vote for the people that they want to represent them. I think there's going to be a lot of discussion about health care, about affordable housing, uh, about education, finance, uh, and those are going to be huge topics um, right from the get-go starting in January when the next session starts. So I hope people are kind of doing their homework and reaching out to let their representatives know how they feel about those issues. I would say that... Um the deterioration of Burlington and surrounding towns and communities with homelessness, crime, um, threat, you know, violent, uh, threatening people um, and businesses, um, and the lack of consequences for crime. Be informed and don't just be informed, be part of it, and make sure that whatever you do when it comes to voting, that you feel good about. That you you know that what you did was not only were you part of the democratic process, but that um, it's something that sits right with you. Um, don't be hasty.